And I really hate guys who say you need to use amiibo cards because they do cost a lot of money. $20 for a piece of paper, I'm not paying for that. Hey, I'm Super Senpai. And today, if you're watching, you're probably trying to kick out your villager or trying to figure out why I'm saying Mr. Me Seeks is basically a villager. And honestly, this is a really stupid way for you to do this, but it works. The short explanation is talk to a villager until you're good friends, and if they give you a photo, then ignore them and they'll move out. That sounds so stupid, but this is how the in-game mechanics work for Animal Crossing. See, Animal Crossing New Horizon is different than most Animal Crossing games out there. It's actually easier. Your villagers don't just move out, they have to wait for your permission to move out. And it's a lot easier to match friendship levels between all the villagers. Now, everyone who's watching, you probably have seen your favorite villager try to move out. And it's because the in-game mechanic means the game is built so you can collect as many villager photos as possible. I'm going to put over here the friendship tier guide for you guys to have a reference to know where you belong in the friendship with your villagers. I noticed that a lot of villagers at level 4 and 5, they typically want to move out. And that's because they're considered best friends with you. So what does this mean? Well, have you guys seen Rick and Morty? Well, Mr. Beast's oh, purpose is to exist until the task is done. So whatever the task is, he won't ever leave until the task is completely done. That's what's happened with the villagers here. Every villager is tasked to be your best friend. And once they become your best friend, they're ready to move on to their lot. So that's kind of cynical to think about it. But yes, they all have a mission to be your best friend. And you should technically be moving on to your next villager. At approximately 150 points, this is when the peak point of the villager is going to be moving out. And you can achieve this within about 40 days if you give them a present and you talk to them every day. I guess 30 days if you actually wrap the present as well. Just to break down the points, 1 points for talking, 3 points for gift, 1 points wrapping the gift. And that's probably why you're seeing your favorite villagers move out, because they've hit the threshold of them moving out. So why doesn't the villager I want to kick out move out? Well, it's because you haven't hit the threshold. If you ignore the villager, they will send you letters. If you hit the villager, you're still talking to them still. If you put a fence around the villager, it's going to escape. So no matter what you're trying to do to make it negative, it's trying to still push yourself back to the threshold and top. So at the end of the day, you're kind of battling a water current that's not going to let you go past them. So there's three ways to kick out a villager. Number one, obviously, is campsite. So every 7 to 14 days, a villager can move in. If they select a villager you like, just turn off the game back up and they'll pick someone else and just keep doing that until the villager you want to kick out. Now if they're not great villagers, you do step number two which is uh, amiibo cards. So yeah, f those people who are saying just get an amiibo card, that's not the best solution and a lot of people don't have it. And I really hate guys who say you need to use amiibo cards because they do cost a lot of money. $20 for a piece of paper, I'm not paying for that. So for my viewers, I do have a lot of collection over here and I'm going to give them to my viewers. So if you comment on this video, you guys have a chance to win some of these villagers including Whitney, Goldie, Kit, these are a few of my favorite villagers. So I'm going to be giving it out to the people in the comments. I'm going to make sure you guys have a good villager that you guys be happy with. And again, these are legitimate Nintendo official products. And if you don't want to go for the Amiibo card approach, just buy an NTAG215 card or sticker. Those were perfectly fine to spoof off the perfect villager you want to move in. Now the last one is the one that we're all probably talking about. How do you naturally kick out a villager? Now I'll try every method online. Hitting them doesn't work. Ignoring them doesn't work, fencing them doesn't work. And it's because, again, you're trying to hit the 150 and you're stalling the progression of your friendship with the villager, they are going to push even harder for you to go up there. So one day, my villager Goldie decided to give me her photo, which I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, we're best friends. And then the next day, she decided to move out, which I was like, that is okay. As soon as Goldie left, Kit gave me her photo, and then three days after, Kit decided to move out. I guess if the villager gives you their photo, they're Time's up, they're ready to move on. So I tried it with Doc, and I talked to him for seven days straight. And then he gave me his photo, and I kept trying to talk to him, and he still stayed. So then I decided to ignore him, and then within three days, Doc actually moved out. We're supposed to make best friends so they can leave. That's the opposite of what a villager should be, but I guess that's a game game mechanic. And you can try to ignore a villager for a long period of time, but again, because of how the RNG is built in the game, it's all random, but the odds are higher if a villager is already a best friend because they accomplish a task. So they basically are saying, we're done, we can move on, versus the other villagers who are still trying to compete for you, saying, look, we're not done, we still need to be your best friend. After all, if you haven't noticed, a lot of the villagers have limited dialogue. The game is built for you to be done with one villager so you can move on to the next, and have that photo for a memory for yourself. 
so the current most successful guy is called Paragon. I'm just gonna put it right over here. I'm gonna put it in the description below just so you can see the full image and give them 100% credit. It does require time traveling. All you have to do is talk to a villager and you keep time traveling day and they keep skipping day over and over and over again until you see a bubble appear on the head because the RNG is basically because they're the last person you talk to. Technically, they should be the one who wants to move out. Honestly, I just found every other villager in my village wanted to move out before this selected villager wants to move out. Yeah, I can see how this works, but you're gonna be time traveling a lot if you aren't lucky on the RNG. And some people even say, let's time travel 15 days, 30 days. At the end of the day, they're still gonna be time traveling until the RNG says, okay, this random person's gonna move out. That could take a while to be honest, so I don't know if it's worth it for your end. Now the best way, and this is a fortunate way, is you just gotta build a friendship up until you're considered best friends. And you'll notice when you become best friends, when a villager asks you to change their catchphrases or their greetings, or they give you a photo, bang, they're good. Their mission is done, they can move out. And this can be done with time traveling or without time traveling, just depend how patient you are. And also, if you're going straight for the photo, it's about one in 10 chance they're gonna give you a photo. But personally for me, it took it felt like one out of 30. Again, if your goal is to kick out someone, just keep going until they have the bubble in their head. Now, if you don't want to be the best friend, this method still works. Here's the basics of how to do it. Step one, put a fence around the villager's house. Not because you're trying to make them not interact with other villagers, but because it's easier for you to find the villager. Step two is talk to the villager every single day uh, until they're sick of you and do that for seven days straight. Now, this is a way for you to see if you're best friends or not, but if you don't care about the best friend part, just talk to them for seven days straight and that's all you need to do. And giving gifts too will speed up the process just a little bit. And then step three, you just stop talking to them. You make sure you see them outside the fences. If you don't see them, move on with your day, don't worry about it. And eventually you'll see a bubble pop out on his head. And then when it does, he's ready to move away. Now personally for me, Doc moved out in four days, but it definitely can take longer. And if you're time traveling, seven to 14 days, um, real time, same amount. And that's about it. And again, this isn't the perfect solution, but it's the one that makes the most sense to the game's mechanics which if you're playing real time or you're time traveling, you can use this properly to understand that you're achieving your villager's goal like Mr. Beast seeks. As long as they get to the goal of knowing that you hit the threshold and knowing that when you stop talking to them, the game recognizes that you're done. That's how the villager moves out. Now you're ready for your next journey for your new villager. Uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, so I'm sorry to say, but Animal Crossing is a game that's built for kids to make friends. Learn not to judge a book by its cover and emulate the emotions of your first day at a new school. So while you're trying to get the villagers to leave, help them out with their mission. Make sure that they know that you're happy without them so that you, they can move on just like Ooh, Mr. Me Seeks or Genie from Aladdin. Thanks for watching and again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment especially because I'm going to be giving out these cards for you, my viewers. This isn't the perfect way, but this way makes the most sense in game. And I think you'll enjoy the game a little bit more this way. So thanks again and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, Quinn.